Hello and welcome to another Scrap Mechanic video. And this one is an update on the crane I was working on. I made a short video the other day of just my idea for it. And I finally got it working. And also, I just want to say really quick that there have been a couple of comments on my videos that YouTube automatically marked as spam, even though they weren't, but I can't unmark it, so if you're watching this video and I haven't replied to your, mess to your comment, I have read it. But anyways, so the problem I was having is I could get to go forwards and back, but I was stuck with left and right, which I have fixed. And the crane is just for looks, so it's not meant to actually carry anything. Now, as you can see, when, we, excuse me, when I go over this one, left and right is a little jerky at times. But that's just because of how I did the arms. But now it works pretty much exactly how I wanted. But I will uh, explain how it works in a second. And I'll explain why I couldn't get it to work before. But uh, just let me get back to the little stand thing. Not stand, but whatever. It's so slow. Oops. Okay. So, these are just rails that are attached to the ground in the parking garage. And then this is glitching. Anyways, this is a separate... No! I can't even stand on it. Okay, this is a separate vehicle, we'll say, than this. It's not connected in any way. And then this part with the seat isn't connected to this in any way. They are completely separate. So this on its own just drives along the bars. But to get this entire thing to go left and right, I connected so many wires. I connected the sensors to logic gates. They're just ores, I think. Uh, yeah, ores. So that as long as one of these sensors are activated, it'll activate one of the two motors. And that'll go left and right. But the problem I had in the other video was I wanted to put the sensors like this. Uh, so one goes there. And then I wanted to put the next one up like this. So that as it went along, it just activated the other one. But there wasn't really a way for the bar to work like that. Because if I had it like it was along here, if it stuck up, it would hit it and not move. But then as these get higher, it still it just wouldn't work. So then I finally realized that just, uh, oops, and I'm stuck. Doing it like this will work, as people had suggested. It's just I had to figure out a way to do it. These arms, the only reason they move is for when it's over and it does hit one of the um, sensors, it doesn't just stop and get stuck. But yeah, and then I just put a little, like, fake little cargo thing just for looks. Um, the way I got it to stay on the rails, get stuck again, is with the bars. They just kind of hook under, under and help it not uh, 
So yeah, that is the completed warehouse style crane.